All right, welcome back, everyone. It's Noha here, and in this video, we're back with another Borderlands 3 Legendary Gear Guide, and this will be showing you guys how to get the Legendary Ancient Shield, the Rerouter. Now, unique to this, what, this is one of the only Legendaries in the game that I think does this, but this, for some reason, this Legendary has no red text. Not sure if it's bugged or what, but yeah, no red text for the shield. When fully charged, the next dr shot drains 50% shields to deal 100%, 120% bonus amp damage and return it as health. Plus 10% max health. Capacity is 13,049. Recharge delay is 2.9. Recharge rate is 2,113. Uh, you can get different resistances on this shield, such as fire, corrosive, radiation resistance. You can also get one that just has no elemental resistance. Uh, we're going to be farming Princess Tarantella the second for this shield. You want to come right here where I am at on the map. This is the Splinterlands. I think you have to come to the Chop Shop is where you fast travel. So you run right out here into this little desert area and she just pops up out of the ground. It's a rare enemy, but she's pretty much spawns every single time. Now, I didn't get it on that first kill, but here's a clip of me actually getting the uh, shield to drop right here. And as you can tell so far, this is uh, an amp shield. Now, I'm going to be showing you guys here on the practice dummy in Sanctuary some of the damage. You're going to see how much damage I do with an amp shot, and you're going to see how much damage I do when it's not amped. So that way you can get kind of... Uh, kind of see how much damage this thing is actually dealing you can see here i do a 133k with a crit and then non-amp i do 123k so yeah it's a it's a, a what i've noticed so far it's about around like a 10k or so difference uh with the amp shot now here i'm just gonna throw in some extra gameplay here of me just using the shield uh i also i catch a little bit of gameplay here of me getting health back as I, uh, you know, deal shot damage with the amp shot. In my opinion, this is one of the better shields in the game. It's up there. I don't think it's as good as the stop gap, but it is a pretty good shield. You're gonna get that bonus damage on first on that shot, whenever the, whenever you have the amp shot. By the way, you can tell that your uh, shot is amped because there's like a purple effect at the end of your gun. That's how you can kind of tell that the shot is amped. Plus, if you're low on health and you're in the fight and this shield gets fully charged, you're going to get some health back once you shoot that amp shot. You're going to get some of the health returned. You're going to get some of the damage returned as health, which is always good as well. Like I said, this is one of the better shields. Uh, there's, uh, From what I can tell, there's not many amp shields in this game. There's not too many. Uh, this is one of this is one of them though, and it's it's a pretty good shield. I don't think it's on the level of the stop gap, like I said, but it's up there. If it if the stop gap is like top tier, then it's like the tier right underneath it. This is a pretty good shield. I definitely recommend you get it and use it if you're looking for that extra damage, or if you just don't have a stop gap yet. Because I mean, stop gap still to this point is still, in my opinion, the best shield in Borderlands 3. But there are a lot of good ones, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, that's all I have in this video, guys. Uh, I'm sorry for not uploading yesterday. I'm kind of working on uh, this more lengthy video. I'm trying to get the gameplay for it, and uh, yeah, I've been kind of working on that. And I had to put some. I had to put the guide on the back burner just for a day. We're right back to him here. I'm still trying to get that one legendary left in the Guns Love and Tentacles DLC. But that's all I have in this video, guys. Like I said, feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.